That's my bubble wall. You can buy this part from AutoZone technically and poke a little holes in it and buy a little stuffer and then you buy that thing right there and you attach it to the hose and it goes all the way to your pump. And I'm pretty sure you can do all that for like less than. 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Well, the pump, of course, you know that's gonna cost at least 15. If you want a decent one, since this is a 55 gallon, it pumps all the way over here. It's a decent one. But, yep, that's my bubble wall. And my little fish. And turtle. He likes the bubble wall, he swims through it a lot. And he keeps uprooting my plants. He doesn't eat them. Well, yeah, he does eat one. <laughs> he always runs from the camera. Because I catch him. But, yep, he, he uproots my plants. Especially that one. Look at him. Munching over there already on my roots. Oh, sorry. I did. Mm -hmm. That plant has roots coming out of it. I don't know if it's hot. You can see it. See the little roots hanging off the plant? I don't know if that was there already. I wasn't really paying attention. But I want to make sure it still grows before I even mess with it. But this is the one that he uprooted. It's right there now. And that is the one that snapped in half. What are you even talking about, girl? <laughs> talking about it's no time to snack. <laughs> Talk about a turtle, oh my god. Oh. Just that little, little attachment right there at the end of it. And you can get you a bubble wall. You can custom make it yourself. Poke holes in it. Yep, you can get that part from AutoZone. I don't know what it's called, but. <laughs> yeah, you can get that from AutoZone and make your own little bubble wall. Bubble wall just going through all, throughout the whole tank. You know, in the front view of it, what it looks like. I think I've had it on in other videos. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. He is constantly trying to get her pregnant. <laughs> but he leaves her alone. I put a mirror on the side of the tank. So he leaves her alone every once in a while. See? Yeah. He'll leave her alone. He doesn't always chase her. But if he does, like, if I see he's constantly chasing her all day, I'll put a mirror, like, on this side of the tank. And he'll, or I'll do it on this side of the tank. And I'll put it up against the tank, and he will flare or whatever at his reflection half the day. He'll go up to her every once in a while when he sees her, but he will flare at his reflection most of the time when I have it. I will do a video of him actually doing this, but he will do it, and my beta will do it too. So, I'll put a video up of that. Maybe a, another day. Not today, but... Oh, it's my bubble wall. If you was wondering what that tube was in the back. I'm not really sure if I actually had it on before, though. I'm pretty sure I think I have, but I'm not really sure. So, <laughs> I might have had, might have not. But, let's let you know what it is anyway, just in case. <laughs> I haven't had it on. And I decided to put my turtle food in that so it would stop getting wasted into the tank because these little 
fat fish would get all his food before he can get it. And he likes to sit right there with his head above the water. It's a nice little color. And he's actually like, he looks like a, if you ever seen the Yu-Gi-Oh cards or whatever, or Pokemon cards, he looks holographic. Can't really get him to sit still so you can see it, but it's pretty cool. The white one is the dominant male, so the dominant male usually does, like, I don't know. I can't really say, but he he, like, changes colors. Like, he's like a green. You can't really see it right now because he's moving so much, but you can see the blue in his tail, though. But, yeah, that's what that is. Turtle in there uprooting the plants. <laughs> Most ball rolling around. I don't really put it in one place. It likes to move wherever it wants to. And it's usually over there. I don't know why. I'll put it all the way over here. And it gradually ends up over there. So, hmm. Fixing my filter. Yep. Oh, these guys will school all day long. The little small one will break off every once in a while, but he'll run right back to the group. They like the school. And actually, I'm missing some other fish too. Now that I think about it, my male bait is gone and my little tetras are gone. Wow. But, yep, yeah, that's what that is.